Welcome back to Gold News, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kerry Stevenson. Today, I'm speaking with one of our keynote speakers for the upcoming Australian Gold Conference to be held on the 14th and 15th of June here in Sydney at Crown Barangaroo. If you haven't got your tickets yet, go to goldevents with an s.com.au. Now, Barry Dawes is the executive chairman of Martin Place Securities. He's long been a proponent for gold, for owning gold, but uh, he understands some of the challenges around it. Now, go, uh, Barry will be presenting at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, the 14th of June. So if you want to come and hear a little bit more about what Barry has to say, then make sure you buy your tickets today. Barry, welcome to Gold News. Good to see you. Thanks for coming on today because I know that things are happening and um, many, many people out there are th thinking, well, gold, I don't really need to pay attention. But I think your message is you should be paying attention. Oh, most certainly you should be paying attention. And uh, I think the conference will give people of, uh, the opportunity of seeing lots of different points of view and lots of opportunities. But um, I think the most important thing about gold today is its perception. It's how it's seen in the marketplace. And um, from my way of looking at the markets, whether it's currencies or bonds or equities, we've always got a, a general commentary, which is accepted within the, the marketplace. And that tends to be the, the dominant thought. And hence we get markets get up, going up and down and we get um, optimism and we get pessimism. And, and it's, and it's, it's a, a group herd activity. So, you know, what we have at the moment, I, I think, is um, a whole range of sentiment indicators in the equity market where everyone is very, very bearish. And um, in the bond market, people have been very, very bearish. And, um, and the gold price has sort of been chugging along um, without any real direction, even though it's, it's moving higher, it's, it's not moving in the way that we would like it. And, uh, but I think what we've got is um, a smokescreen of information or of narrative, which is not catching up with the reality that's behind it all. So um, we have uh, many sources of this information, um, many sources, whether it's commentary um, through uh, TV channels or, or whether social media, and, uh, but, but consequently, it, it, it tends to be pushing a particular theme and, and, and as people um, get onto that theme, it becomes, uh, reinforces that herd mentality. But what we've got to do with gold is, is, is think about it differently. I mean, first of all, gold is here today. It's tangible. It's wonderful to, to hold. Um, it's forever and it's eternal. And um, the great thing about gold is that the people who buy gold tend not to be sellers. And this, this on top of the fact that all the gold that's ever been mined is, is still above ground, um, basically means that um, it, it's not dissipated, it, 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 it's accumulated. And the accumulation is accumulation of wealth. And what we've seen over the past 20 years has been the emergence of China and, um, and, and India um, with 1,400 million people in each of those um, nations. Um, they are buyers of, of gold and they are accumulators of gold and they tend not to be sellers. So that is going on behind the scenes. It doesn't get a lot of press other than people saying, yes, um, it's an important part of the market, but it's something which is, is driving um, the gold market, um, as far as I can see. What we see in terms of the futures markets and the level of currencies um, is, is really only a, a, a temporal issue. Um, the, 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 the views are fashionable, they come and go. People are bullish on, a, on the dollar or bearish on the dollar and, and, and on, on equities and bond markets and whatever. But at, 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 the, at the end of the day, we've got to look at um, this accumulation of wealth um, in these important economies. Now, I've been a bull on the US dollar and a bull on gold. Um, 
and they're not mutually exclusive, as we've certainly seen uh, over the past um, year or so. And I would like to think that we're going to get a, a US dollar that will be even stronger um, in the future because of some structural changes that I can see coming to pass. And I think the next 12 months will be very important in, in all that. Now, we, when you we say, can... sorry to interrupt you, when you say structural changes, do you mean economically or what sort of structural changes are we talking about? Oh, look, I, I, I think um, oh, there's, there's going to be a very important um, midterm elections in, in the US, um, which, which could have um, fairly significant um, uh, repercussions um, uh, th throughout the world economy. Um, even though we've got a, an executive which is different, um, a different term, but the, the Congress and, and the Senate will certainly limit or enhance the power of the, uh, the executive at the time. I see those changes coming through and I, I, I see them as being really quite wide ranging um, changes. And um, we've, we've got to be able to focus on currency, the bond markets and the equity markets. And if we look at some of the underlying things in, in the US economy, I, I think um, they're extremely positive, uh, extremely positive. And, um, and it's interesting, the last few years, uh, the US has been a very strong um, user, consumer, acquirer, accumulator of gold. And it's become, uh, in my mind, almost as important, not, not as important, but almost as important as China and India. So that brings that, that, that third, third um, player in, into the market. And um, I keep coming back to my, my basic concept of gold being the metal of prosperity. Yes. Because it's the metal of wealth and it's accumulated wealth. So I think that we can have um, a whole range of these issues covered in my talk. Um, some of them are unconventional, um, but I, I am a bull on gold, and I, I, I do think we're going to see some extraordinary things um, in the gold price, but more as a, as a, a function of in, increased prosperity um, rather than considering gold the metal of crisis. So when you are going to be present, when you do present in uh, literally two weeks time in Sydney, um, your talk is going to be about the rising wealth across the world and why that is good for gold. Just give us a little bit of a pricey of, yeah, I, I know that you do a lot of charts as well, which I yeah. think is pretty interesting. Yeah, look, um, you know, w when we do um, charts, we're looking at ratios. We're looking at gold versus the US dollar. We're looking at gold versus the yen or, or euro, um, and, and everything's really a, a ratio. Because we don't have a gold standard anymore, yeah, true. everything's a ratio. So um, we have to think in terms of the, what are the fundamental um, issues. And at the end of the day, it's the demand for gold and it's the accumulation of wealth. These, these are the, the, the fundamental drivers and everything else is um, um, just at the margins. Um, in terms of the way it affects the price of gold. So we'll be looking at um, the, uh, the, the, the growth in, in demand uh, in uh, Asia, uh, in, um, you know, Indochina, Southeast Asia, um, Africa. But, uh, you know, we've also got um, increases of gold by the central banks and by the ETFs now. All those things are a reflection of wealth, and and while we've got while we've got um, turmoil and disorder in the world, um, it certainly makes sense to store your your wealth um, in gold, whether it's whether it's th through the central banks themselves or on a on a national level, or whether it's the ETFs or whether individuals are are accumulating gold. Barry, you said a, a, a moment ago about currencies, and I think that I'd really love to just hear, and I'm sure you'll cover this more at the conference itself, but bullish on the US dollar, bullish on gold, gold is always uh, quote, or often quoted in US dollars, other currencies, so, so if you're buying your gold, for example, in the Australian dollar or euros, it, could that be even more bullish? Because do you feel that a lot of currencies versus the US dollar 
will be a lot weaker over time. I'd love your view on that. Oh, uh, absolutely. And I've been saying for quite some time that the a dollar on the cross rates, whether it's against the yen or the euro or the pound, um, uh, is looking really powerful. Um, uh, and I, I see the, the the euro and the yen in, in particular uh, being very very weak. And uh, I think that they've got their own uh, own issues, which is one of the reasons why the the, the dollars US dollar strong. But um, it's quite fascinating that the A dollar uh, rises with gold, and more more importantly, or more particularly, with um, gold stocks, uh, North American gold stocks. That's that's the strongest correlation I can find. So so the A dollar uh, is is very very well placed for the the period that I, I see ahead, um, and and the gold price has done very very well in in other currencies. Uh, particularly the yen and those major currencies and most of the minor currencies gold's already at an all-time high um irrespective of what, what's happening in the short term so um that that strength of the dollar is, is seen right across the board and it's fascinating to see the gold back rule um it's it's performed uh, quite well recently but um it's not quite there yet you, you, i don't think you should be bullish on you the ruble versus the US dollar. Um, that's just not going to make sense in the long term. But it has has a had it has had a good move because it has been um, backed by gold. So, well, we're running out of time. I just want to ask you one last question because we've got a lot of the um, ASX listed mining companies at the conference. Uh, if you were, <coughs> excuse me, if you were suggesting to people their best exposure, would you say both physical as well as the equities? Uh, What's your thoughts on that, just briefly? Oh, look, um, you know, very, very quickly, um, people should have um, some uh, bullion physical. Um, they need to know how to store it, and you know, that's that's a separate issue. But um, you know, gold shares are are excellent um, in in the sense that um, shares are, are are driven by humans um, or operated by humans, so they're managed by humans. So um, they're always trying to improve their position through acquisition, through productivity growth or, or whatever. So you know, when we look at uh, Australian gold shares um, in a ratio sense, they're very, very cheap against the Australian dollar gold price. Right. Um, and um, you know, when we take yields into account, um, I think some of these stocks are very, very cheap. Uh, explorers are, have done extremely well and um, because so much money has been raised recently uh, over the last few years, um, the, the industry is cashed up and it's able to do things. So um, always do your own due diligence, always have a portfolio approach, never commit yourself to and fall in love with a single stock. And, um, but basically keep watching. And, um, you know, I think you'll, you'll find that um, you'll be able to outperform gold bullion by holding gold shares. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Barry Dawes will be speaking at the Gold Conference, so you can come. And after he has his chat, I'm sure he will have a few moments to have a chat with you afterwards if you want to pick his brain on what he thinks is going to be happening in the markets going forward. He's always been, has had, and, and also you have Dawes points. Uh, if people want to reach out to you, what's the best way for them to connect with you, Barry? Because you've got a, a, a plethora of information out there. Uh, look, um, uh, oh, the easiest thing is to um, um, sign up for our, our Doors Points newsletter through our website, uh, marketplacesecurities.com.au, um, or um, contact me by email or, or even the telephone. <laughs> oh, the old-fashioned telephone. I'm not giving out your telephone. Go to marketplacesecurities.com.au, sign up to Doors Points. You'll understand what Barry is talking about a lot more. And make sure you buy your tickets to the Australian Gold Conference in two weeks' time at Crown Barangaroo in Sydney. Barry Dawes, Executive Chairman, Martin Place Securities. Thanks for joining me on Gold News. Thanks, Kerry. Good luck with the conference. Thanks. We'll see you there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>